is there any particular sector or industry that is of your interest or that Hong Kong and Singapore could coordinate and collaborate and drive further to benefit the entire Asia? Any particular sector of your interest or topic of your interest? Well, I mean, you, 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 you mentioned that I'm uh, chairman of the NUS uh, School of Medicine International Council, and it's a great honor to be made chairman uh, of that council. I think one, one, one thing that um, COVID-19 has shown is the importance of obviously medical research. And, and, and I think Hong Kong has got uh, very good schools of medicine, I know. And Singapore, of course, has got excellent schools of medicine to several and co collaboration uh, in that sphere would, I think, be a very positive uh, development. And the advantage we have is that uh, it's funny, a medicine in theory should be neither Eastern nor Western. I mean, medical science is universal, right? But yet, as you know, uh, there is uh, growing misunderstanding within US and China in many areas, uh, all kinds of allegations are being made on the origins of uh, COVID-19. And frankly, these are scientific questions that politicians shouldn't get involved in at all. So if we can help to, in a sense, help uh, Western scientists come to uh, East Asia and work closely with East Asian scientists, including Chinese scientists, then I think that's an area of, of, of collaboration that would be good uh, for Hong Kong, for Singapore, uh, and, 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 and for the world too. And I know that recently, um, the National University of Singapore has named a professorship after you. And I think it's called the Kishore Mabubani Professorship in Medicine and Health Policy. And I guess similar to your vision, I guess the goal is to promote innovation build knowledge, inspire young minds and students and so forth. But within the field of say medicine and health policy, uh, what else are we lacking here in the region compared to the West? Is it more of a research uh, as we mentioned earlier or is it just public policy that is lacking in, in general? Or, or is there an initiative where we could help um, our neighbors in building a stronger infrastructure. What kind of change would you like to see as you steer into that professorship and research? Well, I mean, the, uh, by the way, thank you very much for mentioning uh, the Kishan Mahubani professorship in uh, medicine and health policy. Uh, as you know, we're still trying to raise the funding <laughs> for the chair. Uh, the, and, and the reason why the chair is timely and the reason why I supported this chair uh, is that, you know, the big lesson of COVID-19 uh, is that if you want to succeed in defeating a virus, you obviously have to have strong uh, institutions of medicine, so medical research and so on and so forth. But you also need to have good public policies in health also. And the reason why China did much better in managing COVID-19 than say the United States did is that in the field of medicine, China is still ahead of China, no question whatsoever. It's, it's scientists, it's scientific research and all that is way ahead of China. But when it comes to health policy, uh, sadly, uh, United States is far behind uh, uh, China and indeed, frankly, far behind the rest of the world. So for example, if you compare the, and, and some, some American professors have done this, uh, compare uh, America's track record with uh, Singapore's track record in, in, in public policies and health. And United States spends as a percentage of GNP four times as much as Singapore does. And the outcomes in terms of life expectancy, infant mortality, and all the other leading indicators of health and well-being, United States is behind Singapore. So, and that, that shows you the importance of good uh, public policies uh, in health. And, 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 and therefore the establishment of such a chair, I think can make, 
a big difference uh, uh, to, to, in a sense, having the web, yeah, helping the world also understand why is it that East Asia has done relatively well uh, in managing COVID-19.